Natty or not. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I am Steve Shaw. Guys, in this video I'm going to talk about three ways to help you determine whether someone is natural, natty, or not. Before I get into that topic, before I get into that topic, uh, check out the link below. If you have a question for me, check it out. Submit your questions. All the questions come to my inbox. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. So on my handy dandy iPad, I have three ways to tell, to help you tell if someone is natty or not. All right, the first way is that they have unusually, unusually large traps and delts. You can tell their traps are just, they just look like a mountain. They just look like a mountain, just like a mountain. And their delts just pop out. Their delts just look ridiculous. This goes for male or female. When you look at a male or female bodybuilder or any type of lifter and you look at them, you're like, if the first thing that catches your eye is, holy crap, look at the size of those traps and those delts. Look at the size of those traps and those delts. That's a good indication that they're probably a very high chance they're not natural. The second tip to help you determine if somebody is natty or not is they're pushing past genetic potential limits. Now there is some information I have on Tiger Fitness. You can Google Tiger Fitness genetic potential and nat natural muscle building potential. But here's a stupid simple formula. Now this formula is if your body is if a lifter's body had no fat, no fat, okay, lean mass only. So if a lifter is 200 pounds and they have 10% body fat, their lean body mass would be about 100. And 80 pounds. So with that established, the natural genetic, the natural muscle building potential for someone around 5 foot 10 would be a lean body mass or weight without fat of about 178 to 180, give or take a hair. So for every inch above that or inch below that, you add or subtract about 4 to 5 pounds. That's just a very stupid simple method. So for the one, five foot ten lifter, like the big hairy ugly dude, if the lean body mass was about 178 to 180, that's upper limit for natties. That's upper limit for natties. Not many natties get there, so they're kind of entering that gray area, sus suspect area. But if they're above that in lean body mass or weight without fat, without fat, there there's a very, 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 very good chance. They're not natural. So again, for every inch above that, you had four to five pounds. So if they're five foot eleven, their lean body mass potential would be about one eighty two to one eighty three. If they're six foot, one eighty six to one eighty eight. So for every inch below five foot ten, you subtract four to five pounds from that lean body mass potential. So a five nine lifter would be a one seventy three to one seventy four. A five eight lifter would be. Uh, you know, 168, 169, 170. So that's the second way to determine if somebody is natty or not. It's not foolproof simply because body fat estimations are always wonky. People always estimate their body fat levels all over the board, crazy, they're rarely accurate. But if you're intelligent and you can kind of figure out where somebody's body fat percentage is, it'll give you a good guideline whether somebody is natty or not. And the last method to help you determine if somebody is natty or not, and this is more physical, if you see guys in the gym or guys walking around on the beach or, or wherever uh, on the basketball court and they got a lot of gyno, that's not man boobs, but gyno is just like they're lean, but you can tell they got puffiness around their nipples. These are just physical traits. They have gyno. They have a ton of acne all over their upper body, especially their back. Or you, you see them experience 
very, very rapid muscle growth in the gym over a short period of time. These physical changes or these physical cues are generally a sign that someone is not natty. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.